It's a brand new time, a brand new year, a brand new time, a brand new year. <laughs> okay. Well, while the majority of uh, soul or black social media, while they continue to want to go back <laughs> They still want to go back to the past, 5,000 years ago, 1940, 1930, uh, 1960. They trying to, uh, even 76 trillion years ago, <laughs> while they trying to go in reverse, this year, the Reality is Temple on Earth Internet Ministry, I'm the Mighty One Angel Snow No. 7. We have decided to continue to move forward, continue to seek uh, the healing, to improve ourselves as human beings, to avoid uh, this unnecessary uh, confrontation with uh, people who want to go backwards. <laughs> hillbilly, hillbilly folks, <laughs> country folks. We want to continue on the road to real civilization and uh, improvement of the human being. We're not interested in skin color. That's just, uh, that's a part of the old world of racism, the old world of oppression and isms. We're not about isms. We're about the uh, evolution of humanity. With that said, we need a new direction. We want to talk about, for a few minutes, uh, a new direction. When I was a child, when I was younger, my favorite color was black. And for some reason, I was attracted to the number seven. I don't know what it was. I, I don't know. The origins of the number, I don't know what it means. I just know that I I chose the number seven, not 77, just seven, as my favorite number. Now, I have been told, and there's not really a lot of information on the number seven that I could find real quick. I don't know. But the number seven... It seems as though it's a number that relates to completion. In religion, I was taught that the number seven is the beginning of perfection. We are now living, I would say, in the year of that perfection or that year of completion, not of humanity, not of this nation, but of this ministry, because it was founded upon the number seven. And when I look at the 15 years of the growing process of this platform and the frosting, the frosting on the cake is our vision of Operation Exodus Mississippi campaign, I would come to the conclusion that everything is in place and we have reached our perfection or we have reached our completion. Before the end of last year, we had brothers come to our platform, talk about the 47. And of course, we, um, we revolve around that number, seven. Seven is also related to heaven. 2023, 2 plus 0 is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 3, of course, is 7. Now, of course, we don't care, uh, we don't trip off numbers, we don't trip off prophecy, we don't that, but it's going to be very interesting, and we're going to see how this year of 7 is going to be any different than 
1897 or, or whatever. We're gonna we're gonna see. So I'm not gonna trip. We're not tripping off of that. I'm just bringing that up because we like stuff like that. The number seven. So what direction do we need to go? Seven also talks about those who uh, revolve around the seven. You must have the courage to fulfill a purpose. In 15 years, we have done that. And we should be able to rely on our instincts that we have done that. It has, not, it has been a rough road, but we have done that and we have stayed on this path. And with the uh, false flagging and the slandering and things of this nature, clearly what we have done and what we're doing is correct. Because those who are against reality, those who are against truth, have a problem with the seven because they represent going backwards. They, instead of being civilized, they are they represent that which takes us back to being savage. So, we do know that the black man and woman in America, we're in a position whereas we actually could be the leaders to take humanity through the door to the heaven that the seven represents. But clearly, we have not earned. Clearly, we're not interested. So, after 15 years, it would be wise upon me to begin to take this message to humanity itself and leave the so-called Negro to their own device. Let them do. Because black men and women have a servant, have a slave mindset. They have to serve. They have to follow. They don't have a leader. They don't have a manager type mindset. So we take this message to humanity and wherever humanity goes, whatever, because that's what the Negro or the black man is doing right now. They following whoever, whoever is leading, they will follow. They have to follow somebody. They have to serve some somebody. So you had your opportunity, you had your chance to be a leader, to be this God, but that's nothing but talk. You don't qualify. You don't know what to do. You're incompetent. So now those of whom can embrace and understand the message, because this is a message for humanity. And even from the very beginning of the seven, from my very start, I never called myself pro-black. I never called myself pan-African, blackity-black, black. I never said, I said from the very beginning of the Realities Temple on Earth, this is a pro-humanity channel, but I was giving the black man and woman top priority because you and I, we are in such bad shape, but you don't want the message. So what do they say? One man's Trash is another man's treasure. So now we're going to begin to, to target humanity, period. Another thing about the seven is that we must be open to change. The so-called Negro in America, we're not open to change. We want to go back to Kemet. We want to go back to Timbuktu. We want to, we want to go back when life means going forward and the Negro is not ready and does not wish to go forward. They're talking about what they did last week when we live in the now. Nobody cares about last week. Last week is gone. We are talking about what we need to do now. If the human being does not take up this message, then the human being is looking at extinction. And the sad thing about it, what's so embarrassing is chances are it's going to be self-extinction.